I'm Dr. Steve Cianti. I'm the director of the Cianti Prostate Center in Sarasota, Florida. Now today we're at Doctors Hospital in Nassau, Bahamas, and we're doing a focal HIFU procedure on a gentleman who's a patient of mine from the Sarasota area. This gentleman presents with a PSA that was 3.6. He underwent a multi-parametric MRI study prior to having a prostate biopsy. This MRI study demonstrated significant regions of interest or areas of suspicion for tumor in the right side of the prostate in the midland region and extending towards the base, towards the seminal vesicle. Of importance, the left side of this prostate was completely normal on the MRI study. He then underwent a fusion biopsy using the Artemis device. Now in that particular procedure, we can take the MRI images and create a model of the prostate based on the MRI images with those areas of abnormality shown in the model. That model then is superimposed on a series of ultrasound pictures and thus the name Fusion. This allowed me to do a very precise targeted three-dimensional biopsy of his prostate of both the right and the left side. When we finally got the pathology report back, it demonstrated they had a Gleason grade seven cancer multiple areas on the right side of his prostate that matched exactly where the tumor was seen on the MRI studies. The left side of his prostate was completely normal on both MRI and on negative biopsy. When we discussed treatment options, he, like most men his age, was highly concerned about treatment-related side effects, particularly the loss of urinary and sexual function. One of the options that he considered was doing a targeted treatment to the right side of the prostate with high intensity focus ultrasound. And here we are today with that procedure. We're going to be using a novel software today in which the same software package that I used for diagnosis, it's called the Profuse package. It's part of the Artemis uh, technology. That same software package has produced a model of the prostate showing me exactly where the regions of tumor are, and now we can load that model onto the sonoblate treatment device and direct high-intensity focused ultrasound energy to exactly the regions of the prostate where the cancer was found at the time of diagnostic MRI and Artemis fusion biopsy. We'll then insert the ultrasound probe, the treatment probe, into the rectum, position the probe appropriately, will load the MRI images onto a series of ultrasound images and perform a fusion. These fuse images will help me to guide very precisely how we're going to direct energy to destroy his tumor. So what we've done is we've loaded the MRI region of abnormality shown here in the red line as the tumor is onto the ultrasound images. We, we planned our treatment zones. You can see this most anterior zone shown by the light blue color is going to treat this portion of the prostate right here. The darker blue zone, the second middle zone, is going to treat this region. And the posterior zone will be treated as, as evidenced by this darker blue line. So the treatment plan takes into account a wide area of overlap around the suspected region of tumor.
moves in three millimeter increments and delivers bursts of energy. It delivers bursts of energy in a three on, three on, three off pattern. That is two seconds <laughs> amplifier on, three seconds amplifier on, three seconds amplifier off. At the end of each cycle, that is every nine seconds, an image is acquired, and we're constantly comparing the treatment image to the reference images to be sure that there's been no significant change, no swelling in the target. So this is an interactive process in which we're continually monitoring the treatment. And you see very nicely here, we have a great white splotch on the screen. That's called a cavitation effect. It's, it's assurance to me that we're delivering proper energy to this target. The transverse image, again, shows the progress of the transducer as well. So we've got a series of transverse images, satchel images, the top images are the treatment images, the bottom images are reference images to which we're continually comparing the treatment and the reference to make sure there's been no change or no movement. So if we review this treatment plan, we can see that the two are seen here in the red outline. We're treating a significant margin around it. We want it for a zone of safety, we want to create all the tissue around that tumor without hitting any critical structures. The urethra is right in the center, right where my arrow is, and of course, you can see that that's being spared. The nerve bundles are down in this region where my arrow is, again, right down here. And you can see that that's being spared. So we're conforming a treatment to the prostate gland and taking great care to ensure that we're not putting energy on critical structures. This is going to give us a very nice destruction or ablation of the, uh, of the target area. So we are treating now the middle zone, and you can see from the plot, energy is being delivered into this shape. Transverse image, side of us. And you can see that now we're getting energy starting to get into the target region. And so as the transducer continues to fill in those areas, this middle zone treatment will take 6 minutes and 57 seconds. We're about halfway through the treatment at this point. The base is doing fine, it's not having any anesthetic issues at all, and the procedure's going very smooth. Okay. So we've now completed the middle zone, and you can see that as evidenced by the, the colors here. If you look at the this image down here, you see this entire area has been filled in. And as we continue to look even more laterally on the right side, you'll see the area of tumor start to come in. You see that that's been included in the zone. We still have one more zone to go posteriorly, but if you look, you'll see there's been excellent coverage by energy of that entire middle zone, including the areas where the tumor is. So now the procedure's progressing nicely. We've planned out and mapped out the posterior and the bottom row on the right side. This right posterior region is being treated now. You can see nicely that this is the area of tumor now it's about to receive energy right from this area. So once we complete this row, the procedure will be done. We have a time frame here of about 12 minutes and 18 seconds here. We've completed the procedure now. All three zones have been completely treated. The transducer has been removed. And our patient is now recovering, waking up from an anesthetic. He'll go to the recovery room, and with an hour and a half to two hours of recovery, we'll be back home with a Foley catheter. We'll see him in the office in a couple of days for catheter removal and follow up. And then that can flow activities very quickly. So, this demonstrates that we can do a targeted treatment based on the diagnostic platform, very seamless and now integrated into the treatment platform and achieves for our patient an excellent result, which destroys the tumor, and most importantly for him, preserves his quality of life.